guys welcome back to my channel so i'm doing three videos in one day boom boom triple threat period <laughs> very much long overdue it's just honestly supposed to be up before christmas but your girl was tight okay but without further ado julia hair company they did a wonderful thing and sent me some bundles i'm gonna insert pictures of the bundles before i made them into a wig but yeah they're gonna they sent me some bundles and a closure uh, it was like 16 inches and 18 inches so with those beautiful bundles that i am inserting here or here i made a beautiful wig so um i have to do two videos on this hair i'm probably gonna do one of me installing it and one of me um styling it so this is the wig that i've made y'all this is like a quick simple wig this is the closure part it looks so freaking good like whoa but nah it's about it's really so cute like oh wait a minute now hold on hold on to your wig <laughs> this is my first time making a closure wig actually but all i used was an extra big wig cap because i have a big head um and i didn't want to like run the risk of it like pulling back or something like that so i just used one of the larger wig caps and just i sewed it i hand sewed it i didn't use the sewing machine, machine with that being said let's throw this sucker on you know what i'm saying man so y'all i did not braid my hair up it's gonna be lumpy but that's the great thing about curly hair is lumps <laughs> it gives you like so much room that's why i love these extra big um sewing caps because it gives me room to like not have to worry about my braids getting flat and then curly hair, like, who cares about your braids being flat, sis? Like, the hair is curly, so. This is how she looks. I did. Whoa there. The good thing about bleaching and knots is I don't have to put no makeup on my cap because I use a nice size. I use a nice color cap, so. It might look like my scalp. I'm really not caring if it does or if it does not. But I do know I do not want this all up on my forehead. So, I think that's a good, is that a good, y'all like it that far back? Yeah. Or should I do it a little further? Because if I cut her and do baby hair, it's going to sleep like way. Can do a little further back? Okay, y'all. I mean, I'm just here to please the people. Just really go in with that spray. Oh, Lord. Tap in, you feel me? Tap in. You gonna lock her in right above that hairline. I just sprayed my got to be spray on it because I really want to avoid using glue. I'm gonna go on a little bit more spray. talking about a little bit more spray yo that was a good amount and we're gonna tie it down okay so to help kind of like re-influence the, the got to be spray um i'm gonna tie it down really like making it really like putting all the pressure here okay so i'm back i actually let my hair sit for about an hour and a half because i started watching a movie so that means it's definitely gonna be laid as such y'all whenever you get done uh, like unwrapping your hair it's gonna look a little crazy but that's the point because you just you just need that lace to be melted you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in and start cutting this lace and making this closure look all frontal like so this is what she's looking like after I cut the lace and I put a little foundation on it to help it blend a little better. Um, I'm going to go ahead here and cut some baby hairs just to really let this lace lay down and then wrap it again.
Okay, and I'm gonna go in with some alcohol-free curling mousse to lay those baby hairs down. But in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how I style it. I'm gonna let this lace lay overnight and then style the hair tomorrow for you guys to really show you guys how I get that frontal look on closures. I was really kind of scared of how this hair would look, really, because I've never had a curl pattern like this. I tend to cut the ones in the front super duper short like these, just to get that really super natural look. Super natural. No, like really like very natural. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how supernatural is the word to describe stuff that's <sighs> not natural at all. Or whatever, y'all. You want to call it. Um, with that baby hair effect going on. Alright, so we're going to wrap this up for the rest of the night. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how I style this hair how I style this hair. This is just the installation video. The curls are still very, very pretty and uniform. Um, this is the lace. My comb fell. This is how the lace looks. Oh, she's so pretty. This is how the lace looks. Um, so yeah. See you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, like always, drop any comments, questions, suggestions down below. And this hair is from Julia Hair. They sent me this hair a long time ago, and I'm just talking to this video. And I did go ahead and make this unit myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys tuning into this video. See you in my next one. And without further ado, as always, love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And um, bye.